camera time. Go. 746. All right, we're going to talk movies. This is your safe spot for some air conditioning this weekend. Oh, yeah. And some hidden gems that have been sneaking into the box office these past couple of weekends. We have a coming of age hip hop story here. Yeah, there's been a couple of gems, as you mentioned, in the theaters in the late summer. We had Logan Lucky, Good Time with uh, Robert Pattinson, and another gem for you. We're talking patty cakes. And this is the story of a young girl who is kind of struggling in uh, her New Jersey neighborhood. She's got uh, an alcoholic mother. She's uh, taking care of her ailing grandmother, and she gets made fun of by all the neighborhood kids. But she has dreams of becoming a hip-hop legend. Take a look. And introducing the lady's choice, the voice that gets you moist. It's gonna be an Indian summer, y'all. Mr. Jerry Curls, a.k.a. Young Stamos, a.k.a. Deepak Shakur, a.k.a. The Durag Da Vinci, a.k.a. Raw Dog Zillionaire, a.k.a. The Quiet Storm, boys and girls. I'll give you my soulmate, my homeo. It's Jeromeo! This isn't Showtime at the Apollo, okay? <laughs> okay, so uh, I, I see something like this. I watch the trailer and I think, okay, Eight Mile, Hustle and Flow. Is this more of a comedy or is this a drama? That's a great question, and it balances those elements very well. I would say at its core, it's more of a drama. It's about this young girl. You see a lot of the struggles that she goes through in her daily life. It's shot in a gritty style. There's a lot of, uh, you know, hard drinking going on and tough struggles and things like that. She comes from a blue-collar family, and it captured the, uh, the decaying neighborhoods, the decrepit areas of some of these parts of New Jersey very authentically, I thought. But there's also a lot of room for comedy, some great laughs, whether they're unintentional or they're actually gags. And some of the jokes actually come in the form of the uh, the lyrics that she pens because she's very um, creative. Danielle McDonald is the lead here. You want to remember her name. She's an Australian actress, has done a lot of television, not a lot of feature films. Uh, I would say during Golden Globe nominations time, this is a performance and a name you're going to want to remember. This is her breakout party, sensational in the lead role here. And um, it's got a lot of heart this movie it's authentic and original and uh, very refreshing as well does it make the movie stronger knowing that the lead and some of the cast members are relatively unknown it does yeah because you have a chance to focus more on these quirky characters and you let the beautiful visual speak for themselves and just this great all-around story and character study now Kathy Moriarty plays the grandmother she's in films that go way back to like Raging Bull and Soap Dish she's very effective right there and her mother is played by Bridget Everett fans of Inside Amy Schumer may know her she's great in the role too so three powerhouse roles from the females, and then you're not distracted by a lot of A-list talent, so you really get to focus on just a great story. And again, don't miss this one. It is a, uh, a late summer indie sleeper hit, I would say. How many hammers? I love that. I'm going four to five. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe something uh, to check out this weekend. All right, thanks, Thor.